in this recording I'm going to do a follow-up to a question on this blog post. Back in July 2012 I wrote about how you can use a parameter to make dynamic access selections but one of the problems with this is that it gives you a single uh, access and you can't really do conditional formatting on a single axis. So reader Dave Andrade left this question. He's saying, let's say we choose three metrics, volume, spend, and response rate as part of our parameter metrics. But what each of these has a different, um, has a different metric type. So in other words, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to have a dynamic axis that reflects the format of the measure that we want. So to do this, let's go ahead and open up Tableau. And I'm going to just connect to Superstore Sales. And to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just build a simple line chart by quarter of sales. Okay, and then let me just do a little bit of cleanup here. So let's go ahead and remove the grid lines. I'm going to go ahead and set my axis rulers. Uh, and then go ahead and hide my row and panes. All right and I'm going to go ahead and hide, get rid of the access labels on both axes. Okay, so we have a line chart of sales, so let's call this our sales trend. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this sheet, and I'm, this time I'm going to use profit ratio, so I'm just going to drop that on top of sales, and then go ahead and again get rid of my label there, and let's call this profit trend and then let's duplicate that one more time and this time let's use order quantity so let's put, drop that on top of the profit ratio pill remove the title okay and let's call this quantity trend all right next thing I want to do is I want to create a map so let's just do it by state and let's just put sales on the color and let's just set this to blue just because that's my favorite color and let's change a few of the map options I like getting rid of everything so I'm going to rem remove all of the map layers all right and let's call this our sales map and then let's duplicate that sheet and let's put profit ratio on the color instead and this time I'm going to go with a red blue palette and I'm going to force the center at zero and hit OK and let's call this our profit ratio or our profit map and then let's duplicate that one more time and let's do order quantity on the color and again let's change that to blue okay so let's call this our quantity map and let's go ahead and create a bar chart maybe this time let's do it by region and by maybe category and then let's go ahead and put sales on the bars okay let's go ahead and get rid of the title do a little bit of formatting now ah, let's just leave the formatting alone in this case so let's call this our sales bar bars and let's duplicate this and instead of sales this time we're going to do profit ratio we're just going to replace sales and then get the title so let's call this our profit bars and then duplicate that and let's do order quantity on the columns go ahead and remove our title again and let's call this our quantity bars okay great so now we have nine sheets now what we want to do is we want to create a metric selector so let's create a parameter and let's call this let's say choose a metric and we're going to make this the data type is going to be string and we're going to do a list so the first value is going to be sales second is going to be profit ratio and then third is going to be order quantity all right and hit ok and now if we go back to our sales trend let's go ahead and show that parameter control You'll see we select it, it doesn't really do anything. And basically the idea here is we want this chart to only show, because we're on the sales trend, we want this chart to only show if I've chosen 
uh, sales as my metric. So I need to create a calculated field. I'm going to call it metric chosen. And the formula is just going to be the parameter. And hit OK. And now when I drop metric chosen onto the filters, I only have one option here, and that's sales. You want to make sure that you pick sales but, and do not use the use all options. So let's hit OK. And then we can go ahead and apply this to each of these sales worksheets. All right, and hit OK. All right, so now if I go to my profit trend and I choose show the parameter control, this time if I choose profit ratio, and if I go back to my sales trend, you'll see this is blank now. That's exactly what I want because I've chosen a different metric. So let's go back to our profit trend, put our metric chosen on the filters, choose profit ratio, hit OK, and then let's apply this to the profit sheets, hit OK. And then lastly, let's go to our quantity trend sheets, show the parameter control, change it to order quantity, verify the profit ratio, or that my profit and sales are both blank, excellent. So let's drag our metric chosen onto the filters. This time we're gonna choose order quantity, and we're going to apply this to each of the quantity sheets, and hit OK. Awesome, so now if I change this to sales, you'll see this one goes blank, profit ratio is still blank, and my sales trend is now appearing. All right, so let's go ahead and put this all together in the dashboard. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it a 800 by 600 dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and show the title. And what I like to do in the title is I like to include the metric that I chose. And, oops, and let's call this dashboard. All right, so now I've got my sales dashboard. And I'm, the trick here is I'm going to put two horizontal containers on, one there and then one below that one. So let's get that just right. There we go. And then in this top container, I'm going to put my sales trend, my profit trend, and my quantity trend. And then I'm going to hide each of the titles. And you'll see that what it looks like it's doing is it looks like it's only showing my sales. And now if I choose profit ratio, it changes to my profit ratio. Order quantity changes to my order quantity. All right, so now let's go to this lower container and let's put each of our maps in here and then each of our bars. Okay, excellent. And then let's hide these titles as well. All right, awesome. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to float this selector, and then I'm going to go ahead and close, get rid of that container, because I don't really care for that. Move my parameter up here on the upper right. Okay, and now this sheet I need to do fit entire view. And now when I choose profit ratio, I need to go ahead and make this one fit entire view. And then lastly pick order quantity and fit entire view. All right, and there we have it. So now you see when we pick sales, each of our metrics is sales. So we can see that we have the correct formatting. Now if I choose profit ratio, you'll see I'm in percentages now everywhere, exactly what I want. And then I choose order quantity, and you'll see that I now have the correct quantity. Now you do get the slight padding, but that's kind of the trade-off that you have to make. Um, so hopefully this answers that question. This is a great way to get around conditional formatting.